guys a very good morning to all of you i am sabha your english faculty at tolly board so good morning suresh good morning priyanka just confirm me once if i am audible and visible to you all ek bar fatafat se confirm kar dijiye am i live is the session streaming so after many days we are having this editorial session all festivals and everything is over so i hope that you all are back to your studies ki aapki preparation phir se wapas se usi phase mein usi Oh, you can say that zeal. के साथ you have started your preparation, right? So let us start this session. Good morning, Prasanjit. Good morning, everyone. A very good morning to all of you. Thank you, Suresh. Thank you for confirming. So we will start today's session. And uh, today's article again, it is related to economy. Okay. तो आज की आर्टिकल इकोनॉमी से रिलेटेड है. तो as you always know, I always say that economy जो है, of course, of course, you can come in or now. So or uh, you can um, yeah, this economy based article is always helpful for us okay so and today's article is also very special because we have so many uh, idioms and phrasal verbs generally what happens ki economy based article mein aapko idioms or phrasal verbs nahi milte hain but aaj ke article mein aapko bahut sare idioms and phrases or phrasal verbs work up sari cheeze milenge so let's start good morning rocky good morning everyone yes after 4 5 days we are having this editorial so let's start i hope you all are back with the same zeal okay every festival everything is over now back to your preparation okay so let's see let's start so if i talk about homework so this is basically the homework of 22nd october okay so today is 27th after four days we are having this so geeta singh uh, sambeta ramdev madhurima vamsi then akshay kumar anamika dayanidhi apur devashish danish ran, uh, then arju naga venkat sanjeev all these people did the homework sabne homework kiya tha okay so in sare logo ne homework kiya tha now what is the quote of today's session theek hai aaj ka subah subah ka jo session hai hum log hamesha quote se start karte hain so what is the quote of today okay quote of the day so it is basically a very famous line was said by mark twain that is a man cannot be comfortable without his own approval now what does it mean if i ask you what can you infer from these lines isse kya matlab samajh mein aaya a man cannot be comfortable without his own approval so anyone who can tell me what does this line mean kya matlab nikal raha hai iska good morning arju good morning everyone i was back yesterday only but yesterday i took paid batches so i was taking paid batches so pre sessions have started for today anyone who can tell me what is the meaning of this quote a man cannot be comfortable without his own approval good morning eva good morning everyone quickly guys just in just bas ek short mein bata dijiye what this quote is about okay he is not satisfied he is not uh, this yes you can say see it simply means uh, it is about self confidence see if you have confidence if you are doing something so self confidence is very very important you people say na ki ma'am please uh, encourage us you need encouragement you need motivation ye to external motivation and external encouragement that these all are okay but ye sari cheeze aapki jo hai these are momentary वो चीजें आपके लिए तभी मायने रखेंगे इफ यू आर मोटिवेटेड आपके खुद के आपको यू नो कि यू हैव कॉन्फिडेंस यू कैन अचीव समथिंग लाइक वी से ना कि अ मैन इज अ प्रोडक्ट ऑफ हिस्स थॉट्स कि आप जो सोचते हैं वैसे ही बन जाते हैं इफ यू आर डिटर्मिन के नहीं आप बैंकर होंगे तो डेफिनेटली आप बैंकर होंगे नो वन कैन स्टॉप यू फ्रॉम आज नहीं तो कल डेफिनेटली विल बी अ बैंकर सो आपका ये जो भी अ मैन कैन नॉट बी कम्फर्टेबल विदाउट इज ओन अप्रूवल इट मीन्स की अनलेस यू आर यू हैव दैट कॉन्फिडेंस के लिए आप जो कर रहे हैं उसमें आप सक्सेस होंगे तो योर ओन अप्रूवल इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अगर आप खुद में शेकी है यू आर वेवरिंग की होगा नहीं होगा तो डेफिनेटली बाहर से कितना भी मोटिवेशन वगैरह दे दिया जाए दैट विल नॉट बी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू सो सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस इज वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट बट आई डोंट मीन बी ओवर कॉन्फिडेंट जैसे एक एग्जाम क्वालिफाई हो गया तो इट डजेंट मीन यू नो एवरीथिंग सो डू नॉट बी ओवर कॉन्फिडेंट हैव सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस हैव दैट इलेशन विद इन कि नहीं हो सकेगा ऑप्टिमिज्म शुड बी देयर यू शुड नॉट हैव दैट पेसिमिस्टिक एटीट्यूड बट यस ड्रॉ अ लाइन बिटवीन योर सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस एंड ओवर कॉन्फिडेंस ओके सो आई होप यू गॉट कि सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अगर आपका खुद पे अप्रूवल है कि नहीं हम ये कर सकते हैं तो डेफिनेटली यू विल डू इट दुनिया कुछ भी कहे कर लेंगे उसको i am good abhishek i am very good what about you guys so uh, first of all 
न्यू ऑन दिस सेशन जो लोग फर्स्ट टाइम आए हैं जिन्होंने अभी तक हमारे वाई टी चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू अवर वाई टी चैनल एक बार फटाफट से चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर दीजिए लाइक दिस सेशन गाइज शेयर दिस सेशन विथ मैक्म बिकॉज काफी ब्रेक हो गया है तो मोस्ट ऑफ यू आपकी रूटीन जो है वो थोड़ा सा चेंज हो गई होगी ओके प्लीज आई वॉन्ट की एक ब्रेक के बाद फिर से आपको उसी झील में आना है ओके आफ्टर फोर फाइव डेज अगेन यू हैव टू कम बैक टू द सेम झील सो प्लीज क्विकली शेयर दिस सेशन विथ अदर्स आज कदर्स ऑल्सो टू ज्वाइन दिस सेशन बिकॉज आज का भी सेशन बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट बहुत अच्छा होने वाला है ओके एंड अगर आपने यस ऑल फोकस ऑन स्टडीज करेक्ट so and those who have not downloaded olive board app jinhone abhi tak olive board app download nahi kiya hua hai so description box mein link is given clicking on that link you can download the app and you know aaj ka descriptive ka bhi batch start hai aapka okay now glimpse of today's session what are the things that we are going to do so as usual we will start with the revision session we have two slides of revision vocab that we saw on saturday uh, and then phrasal verbs then we have vocabs of today's session important because economy based article has so it is going to be important in today's session dekhiye generally economy based article mein you do not get idioms and phrases but in today's article you will get idioms and phrases and phrasal verbs dono ke usages kafi hain okay so is uh, terms mein bhi aaj ka session important hone wala hai then we have complete analysis of today's article article itself is very important good morning alok then grammar learning tone objective practices right so the complete article we have Now tell me, are you all ready for the revision session? Today's revision will matter. आज का revision देखना पड़ेगा कि कितने लोगों को अभी भी वो कैप से आते हैं. Winter, it is not winter is coming. I hope everyone is ready. Let's start. Okay, let's start. Where are others? Ask others also to join, guys. Share this session with others also. ओके चलिए क्विकली मैच दीज वर्ड्स विथ देयर करेस्पॉन्डिंग सिनानिम्स एंड एंटेनिम वेरी गुड एक्सेलेंट रॉकी एक्सेलेंट यस वॉट अबाउट अदर्स वेरी गुड प्रियंका यस विंटर इज ऑलरेडी हियर करेक्ट सो नॉर्थ डेली मीन्स ऑनसेट ऑफ विंटर वी हैव others quickly what about others now let me discuss see that is why i tell you revision is very very important whether you have the session or you do not have the session हाँ एस बी आई क्लर्क को एग्जाम आई कब है स्टिल एडमिट कार्ड इज नॉट देर आई डिडेंट गेट योर आंसर आर नो ओनली टू आंसर आई गॉट ओके नॉट विजिबल वॉट यू आर कमेंटिंग दैट इज नॉट विजिबल होमवर्क इज नॉट विजिबल अरे सॉरी दिस रिविजन दैट आंसर इज नॉट विजिबल ओनली टू आंसर आई गॉट नॉट विजिबल आर नॉट देन रेवर्स इज नॉट इज विजिबल नो से फॉल्टर एज आई टोल्ड फॉल्टर वी कॉल टू हेजिटेट एंड डीले ओके फॉल्टर वी कॉल टू हेजिटेट एंड डीले सो ए विल बी मैच विथ फोर्थ ओके फॉल्टर hesitate delay that is falter okay then when we call to decline when basically we call to decline so b will be ma uh, matched with fifth a will be matched with fourth okay yes correct navin stammy basically we call to impede it is a verb when is also a verb all these are verb falter when stammy all these are verb 
stammy basically we call to impede obstruct that is the meaning of the word stam okay c will be matched with two turn around we call to an unexpected change ki kisi bhi cheez mein jo unexpected change hota hai that is called turn around so d will be matched with first sway basically we call to it is a noun also it is a verb also so sway basically we call to exert influence on someone to exert power on something so that is called sway sway also means swing so this word has multiple meanings it also means swing it also means to influence someone to power okay so that, these all are the meanings of the word sway so e will be matched with third x factor i told special talent or quality a person that has special expertise you can say simple x factor can be called expertise special talent or quality that is called x factor f will be matched with seven okay and troika as i told tram virate that is group of three powerful person that is called troika so this is going to be the answer okay 4521376 i hope you all get give the same answer i don't know why uh, uh, like arna prasenjit your comments were not visible homework was not visible rest all comments are, uh, sorry i'm saying homework this uh, the answer that you gave that was not visible baki comments to visible hai okay now quickly match these phrases guys so only five phrases we have troika uh, if you remember that day we used troika for the group of this uh, um uh virat kohli ha homophones i gave you the difference so any three powerful person that is called troika amit shah modi ji yogi adityanath that is troika okay acha you give the answer yes correct correct arju prasanth ji troki everyone correct so eat into basically we call to erode ki kisi bhi cheez ko matlab khokla kar dena so that is called eat into so a will be matched with third correct a will be matched with third move off basically we call to leave move off means to leave depart from somewhere that is called move off okay so b will be matched with fifth correct get past we call to overcome ki kisi bhi phase ko ya overcome some situation that is called get past so c will be matched with fourth well worn overused okay hackneyed ya koi bhi cheez jo bahut zyada aapne use kiya ho repeated so all these are the meanings of the word overused okay so uh, well worn so uh, d will be matched with one cut figure means to present oneself in a particular way and cut a sorry figure matlab kya ho jata hai to be uh, uh, embarrassing okay so e will be matched with two don't have pessimistic uh, attitude uh, dhirendra what is this bad luck if your examination falls on 12th it doesn't mean that it you that is a bad luck for you so 35412 that is the it is hackney okay so that is the meaning so this was all about re your revision session let's start today's session chaliye aaj ka session start karte hain see abhi maine quote diya tha ki your confidence self confidence is very very important now again you people are talking about all these bad luck and other things so the first word of today's session is persistently dekhi ye word bhi aapne bahut baar editorial mein dekha hoga persistently means persistence you know continuously ki koi bhi cheez lagatar ho rahi hai this is an adverb so it is what uh, persistently that is continuously okay next peg peg also we saw so many times it is a verb it means to fix the value of something to set the value of something that is called peg so peg word bhi aapne bahut baar editorial mein dekha hai okay next reset reset we call to set again again it is a verb it is a v1 form of verb continuously is an adverb yes continuous is an adjective continuously doing something that is an adverb so persistently means continuously okay relentlessly you can say so it can also mean relentlessly okay you are not tired relentlessly you are making effort into something so that is also the meaning of persistently okay so peg we call to yes set again is set is a verb so reset set again these are verb okay yes next we have uh, cursory now we say na cursory glance so cursory basically we call to superficial not a deep look ki kisi bhi cheez ko aap bahut dhyan se nahi dekh rahe you are just having a cursory look so cursory we call to superficial you can say off hand perfect perfunctory not detailed examination 
इट मीन्स यू आर नॉट डूइंग डिटेल्ड एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ एनीथिंग किसी भी चीज को आप बहुत ज्यादा डिटेल में नहीं देख रहे हैं सिर्फ एक सर्सरी निगाह से आप किसी भी चीज को देख रहे हैं सो दैट इज कॉल्ड कर्सरी लुक ओके सो इट इज एन एडजेक्टिव गुड मॉर्निंग आदित्य वॉट इट एवरी वन सो कर्सरी वी कॉल टू सुपरफिशियल ऑफ एंड ओवर व्यू यू कैन से बट नॉट डिटेल यस perfunctory uh, so simple i told not detailed examination so you are just having a glance of something so that is called cursory okay next yields yield can be a verb also it can be a noun also so here it is used as a noun so as a noun it means profit or gain yield means to produce also as a verb it means produce something okay to produce something so uh, it has different meaning Not कर्स से नहीं बना है कर्स से कैसे कर्सरी हो जाएगा नो इट इज नॉट रिलेटेड टू कर्स ओके यील्डिंग ऑफ क्रॉप यस प्रोड्यूस सो यील्ड ऑल्सो वी कॉल टू प्रोड्यूस इट इज वर्क इट ऑल्सो रेफर्स टू प्रोडक्ट प्रॉफिट गेन ऑल दीज आर दीनिंग्स ऑफ द वर्ड यील्ड फॉर्म यील्ड फॉर्म यील्ड मीन्स प्रोडक्शन इसका मतलब प्रोडक्शन भी हो सकता है yield का मतलब So as a noun, it means production. As a noun, it means profit gain. But as a verb, it means to produce something. Yes, dividend yield, all these things. Correct. next word we have is accruing so accruing basically we call to accumulating collecting gathering something koi bhi cheez jo aap ikattha kar rahe hain gather kar rahe hain so that is called accruing okay so accruing we call to accumulating collecting gathering all these are the synonyms okay no problem ramkishan from today be a regular okay If it is your first session, I hope from to, uh, from today only you will be regular. Okay? Yes. So accruing we call to accumulating, collecting, gathering. I hope you all are revising the words. Look, abhi uh, if you guys are in North India, agar ap North India mein hai, to you know winter dhire dhire ana start ho gaya hai. So you will be very lethargic to get out of your blanket and other things. So, but please, agar ap blanket mein bhi ho kar ke pyaar watching the session. Okay? So, but I want you to be active. Don't be sleepy. Try to repeat the word so that you can have this maximum uh, fit of this session. Okay? Sunday off will be editorial. Of course, Sunday editorial will not come. Here. So, accruing we call it accumulating, collecting, gathering. All these are the synonyms. Next word we have is grappling. So, grappling basically we call to grappling economy. You have heard about. So, grappling word means combating, struggling. That that economy which is struggling. Okay? So, combating that is called grappling. so grappling is again a verb so combating struggling okay so striving you can say all these can be the synonyms of the word grappling fighting grappling with something fighting yes so there are several meanings okay you are trying to come out of something next word is trajectory trajectory bhi humne kafi baar dekha hai so trajectory basically we call to course or path koi bhi course hai ya path hai so that is basically called route you can say Course, path, route, all these are the synonyms of trajectory. It is a noun. ये आपका क्या है noun है, ठीक है? Next word is gauge. Okay, so it is basically measure or calculate something. It is a verb. Gauge is what? It is a verb. It means to measure something, to calculate something. That is called gauge. Yes, projectile. All different words we have. Okay, so gauge means measure or calculate. Okay, next. Twig. Now say tweak. You know, uh, we tweak some things. Tweak means change also. Tweak means alter also. We say not tweak this question, change this question, alter this question. Okay. Tweak we call to adjustment also. कि किसी भी चीज में कोई adjustment करना so that is also called tweak. So change, alter, adjustment, all these are the synonyms of the word tweak. It is also a noun. It can be used as a verb. देखे it can be used as a verb also. So its V two form is tweaked. Okay, so tweak is adjustment. As a noun, it means adjustment. As a verb, it means change, alter. All these other things. Okay, yes, get a tweak. करते हैं जो भी. Okay. Skinny. He is a tweak. Modification. You can say. No idea if you are using it for skinny. Adjective. How can it be adjective? Can't say Bishik. Now idioms and phrases. So the first idiom of today's session is top brass. Now top brass basically we call to brass word you all know. Okay, brass is a metal that you all know. 
टॉप ब्रास बेसिकली वी कॉल टू द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पीपल इन एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कि किसी भी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के जो सबसे ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट लोग होते हैं सो दे आर कॉल्ड टॉप ब्रास ओके यू कैन से अ बिग फिश बिग फिश मीन्स इंफ्लुएंशियल पर्सन पावरफुल पर्सन सो टॉप ब्रास मीन्स द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पीपल ये पूरे ग्रुप के लिए लोगों के लिए यूज होता है कि किसी भी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के जो मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पीपल होते हैं जो अथॉरिटी होते हैं दे आर कॉल्ड टॉप ब्रास टॉप ब्रास यस बिग विक Now next uh, idiom that you have is make the cut. See, make the cut exactly it means to equal or better a required score. Basically, you have seen goals in the case of goals. So make the cut basically equal to equal or better a required score. That if you need 290 runs, so this is what you should do. If you need 290 runs, so this is what you should do. If you need 290 runs, so this is what you should do. If you need 290 runs, so this is what you should do. If you need 290 runs, so this is what you should do. If you need 290 runs, so this is what you should do. If you need 290 runs, so this is what you should do. But make the cut also means to succeed at something. Because if you achieve this goal, achieve करने में if you succeed, so it means you are succeeded. Okay? Yes. India, uh, India again. Remember that Virat Kohli is top brass. But you guys are very, very like fans. Now they are very fickle. If अगर कोई person एक दो match में नहीं perform कर पाया, तो you will start cursing that person. So now he is again in form. Anyways, so make the cut. Basically, we call to what to succeed at something equal or better uh, uh, a required score. Okay. Next, bear in mind. This is also an idiom. It is simply used for warning. Bear in mind, मतलब ध्यान में रखना. So this is for warning. Ma'am, I purchased Banking Super Elite uh, last night, but can't access on laptop. Uh, it will be there. Uh, uh, Misao, uh, uh, don't worry. You will be able to uh, that uh, uh, access it. Okay. It will take. No, Naveen. I am not that interested. So bear in mind means uh, warning. Caution. Yes. To caution someone, to consider or think about something when making a decision. So basically, ये warning की तरह हम किसी को बोलते हैं bear in mind, keep in mind. We say ना कि इसको ध्यान देना. So for that warning, we use it bear in mind to consider or think about something when making a decision. That is the meaning of bear in mind. Okay, next. Phrasal verbs we have spell out. Spell out as I uh, get. To, Uh, explain, clarify, elucidate. Spell out something means to explain something. To explain in detail, basically. किसी भी चीज को डिटेल में एक्सप्लेन करना दैट इज कॉल्ड स्पेल आउट सो टू एक्सप्लेन समथिंग इन डिटेल टू क्लैरिफाई समथिंग टू एलिसिडेट समथिंग सो दैट इज कॉल्ड स्पेल आउट उसे स्पेल आउट कहा जाता है ओके नेक्स्ट रोल बैक रोल बैक मीन्स टू रिड्यूस समथिंग किसी भी चीज को वापस से रिड्यूस कर देना दैट इज कॉल्ड रोल बैक The time you were uh, you were having that cricket match, na? I was having class paid match, and I came to know that everyone was like no one was in the session uh, till five thirty when India won. Uh, the session was the timing was five to six. Okay, so five no one joined, hardly one or two person joined. After five thirty when the match was over, then people they started joining the session. So that time I came to know the important match was going on. So that is why you people didn't join the session. So I came th that time. I was not taking rest, Sagdish. Uh, so I hope all these idioms, phrasal verbs, everything is clear. Yes, all the things are clear. Now let's start the session. Roll back also we call to to reverse the progress of something. किसी भी कभी देखिए अगर आप किसी भी progress को reverse करते हैं, it means we are reducing something. Okay, so that is called roll back. Yes, correct decision. I know, I know. Now, guys, I uh, see that uh, Diwali fest sale is still on, but I guess that it won't be. कल तक रहेगा या नहीं रहेगा? We do not know. Okay, वो end भी हो सकता है. ठीक है. Even आज भी आपको check करना पड़ेगा. तो अगर वो code अभी भी applicable हो रहा है, Diwali sale is still is it is live. So use my code Saba and try to purchase the courses. Okay. अगर those who are precious, those who are precious. So please, I will recommend that go for banking super elite if you are targeting your next year examination. So uh, uh, go for banking super elite. Okay, why those was yesterday, not today? 
so because in banking super elite you will get all the live classes and mock test okay but if there is anyone who is uh, who wants to continue only with the test then that person can go with banking elite but whatever subscription you want to take please try to take it today itself use my code sabar to get maximum discount so that uh, you can avail all the discounts okay and as you know from to today i have 7 to 8 pm i have this batch after 12 hours, 7 to 8 editorial, 7 to 8, you have a PM in the evening ka, uh, uh, descriptive pattern. Descriptive is not included in Super Elite. Iska after uh, this uh, discount and everything, it is hardly of 674 rupees. Okay. So those who are interested, they can definitely go for descriptive batches also. Okay. Because you have to say formats, hi bata jayega, we will make you practice. Okay. Aapki writing evaluate bhi kar dungi main, okay. So this is going to be helpful. So please use code Saba and try to join this descriptive batch. Also today we have this. And as I told, descriptive is not included in Super Elite. Descriptive ki batch aapki Super Elite mein included nahi hai. So interested candidates, you have that offer. So today only join this descriptive batch. Use my code Saba. We have a batches for ABPS or RBPO also. I hope those who have qualified our RBPO examination, they have joined this batch. Okay, personalized interview batch. You can use my code SABA to get additional discount. So this is also the batch. Uh, you should not take any chance. Agar aapka qualify ho gaya hai means luckily. So please take this interview batch so that you can perform well in interview also. Okay. Then we are launching ABPS PO mains batch. Yesterday was the demo session. Today again, I have a session at 4 to 5 p.m. So, those who are interested specifically in this batch, they can join this. Otherwise, it is included in Super Elite. ABPS PO mains batch is included in Super Elite. Okay. So, this Diwali uh, sale is uh, still live. Okay. You can use my code SABA for joining any course. Koi bhi course you purchase karna chate hai, aap mera code use kar sakte hai to get maximum discount. Okay. But this code, this sale will end soon guys. So, 2x validity, especially those who want super elite or elite. So, this is the right time to purchase this. Okay. So, jaldi se purchase kar lije using my code. Next. Uh, for SSC, we have different. See, SSC ke liye we have super elite. So, if you are purchasing banking super elite, you will not get SSC course in that. So, for SSC, you have SSC super elite. Here also, you are getting 2x validity. So, Naveen, you can use my code Saba and you can get, you can purchase SSC also if you are interested. SSC courses will not be included in banking super elite. Okay. So, banking mein se banking ke courses included hai except descriptive and interview rest all the batches are included in banking super elite. So, I hope all these are clear. These are the offers that are still live. So, please use code SABA and try to avail maximum discount. Okay. So, let's start the editorial. So, this is the code. It is applicable everywhere. Whether you want to buy interview, SSC, banking, whatever you want to purchase, aap ye use kar sakte hain. This is my Telegram channel, Learn English with SABA. Those who have not joined my Telegram channel, please join this Telegram channel for updates on every session and for PDF. Her session ke update ke liye, PDF ke liye join this. Okay. Chali. Start guys. I'm hiding myself. Have a very quick reading. Okay. Quickly read it, guys. Quickly read it. Very quick reading. See, this is not related to inflation. It is economy based, but inflation is related. Nahi, thoda sa different article. Hai. So, everyone should read it. Okay. See, what is it is given? An unkind hike. Means we are talking about hike on something, but that hike is very, very, very small. Okay. कि कुछ चीजों पे हाइक की गई है गवर्नमेंट ने अपने 12 जो गवर्नमेंट के जो भी यू कैन से कि उनके जो भी सेविंग्स अकाउंट वगैरह जो भी सेविंग्स होते गवर्नमेंट के ओके जैसे पीपीएफ हो गए और बहुत सारे ऐसे सेविंग्स हो गए किसान का हो गया किसान क्रेडिट कार्ड एंड ऑल तो जो भी छोटे-मोटे सेविंग्स जो पर्सन करते हैं ओके यू कैन से कि 
एक मिटियोकर इनकम वाले पर्सन जो भी सेविंग्स करते हैं तो आउट ऑफ ट्वेल्व आई गेस की गवर्नमेंट ने सिर्फ फाइव पे वो भी बहुत ही थोड़ा सा हाइक दिया है रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट में सो बेसिकली दैट हाइक इज कॉल्ड अनकाइंड हाइक वो हाइक जो है वो जो है दैट इज नॉट वेरी बिग यस ट्वेल्व स्मॉल सेविंग्स अकाउंट तो आउट ऑफ ट्वेल्व ओनली फाइव पे ही गवर्नमेंट ने हाइक दिया है सेवन पे नहीं दिया है और जिन फाइव पे उन्होंने दिया है वो भी बहुत ही यू कैन से मिनिमल ही हैज गिवन सो फॉर दैट ओनली इट इज गिवन एंड अनकाइंड हाइक की वो हाइक जो है दैट इज अनकाइंड इट इज ऑन स्मॉल सेविंग्स विथ इन्फ्लेशन परसिस्टेंटली हाई कंटिन्यूसली हाई स्मॉल सेविंग रेट शुड हैव बीन पिक्ड हाइयर तो जो सेविंग रेट होना था वो और ज्यादा हाई हो सकता था ओके यस किसान विकास पात्र एंड ऑल दिस थिंग्स ओके तो बट गवर्नमेंट ने उस पर दिया नहीं है रेट बट इट कुड है उसकी वैल्यू और ज्यादा हाई सेट की जा सकती थी द गवर्नमेंट रिसेंटली इंक्रीज द रिटर्न ऑन अंडफुल ऑफ सेविंग इंस्ट्रूमेंट तो हैंडफुल व्याज वी आर सेविंग बिकॉज फाइव पे ही क्या हुआ है From for the ongoing October to December quarter by 0.01 to 0.3 percentage points. Okay, just itna hi increment unhone kya hai that to only on five days. Okay, yes, like salt in the dish. Popular investment avenues for the middle class such as PPF and the national saving certificates were left out. Usme bhi agar aap dekhenge to jo bahut important investment avenues hai, jaise PPF ho gaya, national saving certificates ho gaya. So the government has not included these seven. Ko unhone exempt hi kar diya, to uspe koi bhi hike nahi diya tha. On paper, agar paper ki baat kare, the returns on these instruments are to be reset on a market determined basis. कि अगर इनके डॉक्यूमेंट वगैरह में जो भी गाइडलाइंस वगैरह है तो इन दैट इट इज मेंशन कि इन पे जो भी रिटर्न होगा दैट विल बी रीसेट ऑन मार्केट डिटरमिन बेसिस के मार्केट के अकॉर्डिंग उसको रीसेट किया जाएगा ओके रिटर्न्स विथ अ स्प्रेड ऑफ जीरो टू हंड्रेड बेसिस पॉइंट्स की जहां पर बताया गया था कि वो जीरो टू हंड्रेड बेसिस पॉइंट के बीच में दिस विल बी एडजस्टेड ओके एंड वन बेसिस पॉइंट इक्वल टू पॉइंट ओवर द यर्स ऑन गवर्नमेंट सिक्योरिटीज यूल्स मीन प्रॉफिट so it was mentioned that whatever profit will be there that will be set according to the market okay with comparable maturities that this has not been adhered to but this has not been followed ki jo unhone paper pe likha hua tha jo bhi documentation mein tha so so this is what that this has not been adhered to ki ye isko follow nahi kiya gaya hai is evident even at cursory glance अगर आप एक बहुत ही सुपरफिशियल ग्लांस से भी इसे चेक करेंगे ना तो यू विल सी कि वॉट एवर हैज बीन लिस्टेड ऑन द पेपर दैट हैज नॉट बीन फॉलोड हियर टू मींस फॉलोड ओके इवन द लॉन्ग पॉज बिटवीन रेट चेंजेस कि मतलब रेट चेंज में जो लॉन्ग पॉज होता है उसके मतलब उन सारी चीजों में अगर आप देखेंगे तो यू विल कम टू नो कि ऑल दीज थिंग्स हैज नॉट ऑल दीज थिंग्स हैव नॉट बीन लिस्टेड कि उसको फॉलो नहीं किया गया है दे हैव नॉट बीन फॉलोड ओके अडियर टू स्टिक टू यस दे हैव नॉट बीन फॉलोड Following interest rate hikes this year to cap inflation, government securities yield have been shooting up. कि अगर आप देखेंगे कि interest rate दूसरा ज़्यादा increase क्या क्या है? Why to cap inflation? Inflation को cap करने के लिए control करने के लिए तो interest rate has been increased. Okay? Governments yields have been shooting up. तो government securities के जो profits हैं वो भी increase हो रहे हैं. This month the Reserve Bank of India said that interest rates offered on various scheme in the current quarter are 44 to 7 basis points below the formula implied rates. So this RBI has said that ये जो भी interest rate offer किए जा रहे various scheme पे in the current quarter that are between 44 to 7 basis points and this is something below the formula implied rates. Okay? Curb means restrict. Yes, control. Curb here means control inflation. The PPF, for instance, should have been earning 7.72 percent this quarter instead of the 7.1 percent accruing now. So, as you know, कि हर जगह interest of rate of interest कम किया गया है. तो जो PPF पे लोगों को 7.72 percent profit मिलना चाहिए था this quarter, they are giving getting only 7.1 percent. So all these things are there. कि people they are not give getting accurate return. It is not worthy that central bank, which usually publishes the formula-based small savings rate every month or two, had not spelled them out from May to September. Although it did note in August that the spread between current rates and the formula-based rate had turned negative for most of the schemes. Now, what is the meaning? Yes. So, what is the meaning? It is not worthy that the central bank, which usually publishes formula-based small savings rate, 
कि सेंट्रल बैंक आरबीआई का कुछ ना कुछ फॉर्मूला बेस स्मॉल सेविंग रेट्स होगा जो हर महीने वो चेंज करते रहते हैं बट आरबीआई हैज नॉट एक्सप्लेन ऑल दीज थिंग्स स्पेल्ड देम आउट मींस ही हैज नॉट आरबीआई इट हैज नॉट एक्सप्लेन एनीथिंग फ्रॉम मे टू सितंबर कि मे से सितंबर तक उन्होंने कुछ भी एक्सप्लेन नहीं किया ऑल्दो इट डिड नॉट इन ऑगस्ट दैट द स्प्रेड बिटवीन द करंट रेट्स एंड द फॉर्मूला बेस्ड रेट्स हैड टर्नड नेगेटिव फॉर मोस्ट स्कीम लेकिन उन्होंने ये कहा था कि अभी जो करंट में जो करंट रेट ऑफ फॉर्मूला बेस्ड के रेट में जो भी है दैट इज ऑलमोस्ट नेगेटिव फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ द स्कीम्स कि कुछ स्कीम्स के लिए वो नेगेटिव भी जा चुका है ओके फॉर हाउस होल्ड्स दैट हैव बीन ग्रैपलिंग विद 6% इन्फ्लेशन सिंस जनवरी सो ग्रैपलिंग मींस कंबैटिंग फाइटिंग स्ट्रगलिंग यू कैन से कि वो हाउस होल्ड जो अभी जनवरी से 6% इन्फ्लेशन को टैकल कर रहे हैं स्ट्रगल कर रहे हैं punctuated by a few months of 7% plus rise ki kuch kuch jagah par 7% bhi inflation kuch kuch month mein dekhne ko mila tha ki 6% to january se chala aa raha but beech mein kuch kuch month se jahan pe inflation 7% tak pahunch gaya tha so household they are struggling with all these things these meager hikes ki jo thoda bahut inhone hike kiya hai rate of interest mein आप फार फ्रॉम इनफ टू लिफ्ट सेंटिमेंट कि हमारे सेंटिमेंट को हमारे इमोशन को लिफ्ट कर ही नहीं सकता बिकॉज दे आर वेरी नेग्लिजिबल हाइक ओके बियर इन माइंड दैट दिस वॉज द फर्स्ट चेंज इन दिस स्कीम्स रेट इन ट्वेंटी सेवन मंथ आफ्टर अ शार्प कट इन द रेंज ऑफ पॉइंट फाइव एंड वन पॉइंट फोर परसेंट पॉइंट अक्रॉस स्कीम्स इंट्रोड्यूस इन अप्रिल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी कि अगर आप देखेंगे तो अप्रैल से लेकर के 2020 से लेकर के अभी तक में 27 मंथ्स में दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइम कि ये जो इतना मिनिमल सा चेंज किया गया स्कीम में तो पूरे 27 मंथ्स में कोई भी इंक्रीमेंट नहीं दिया गया था एंड दिस टाइम दे हैव गिवन दैट टू वेरी स्लाइट इंक्रीमेंट पंक्चुएटेड इज हाइलाइटेड यस पंक्चुएटेड मींस इन बिटवीन हाइलाइटेड करेक्ट दैट पॉलिटिकल कंसीडरेशंस स्टिल डिटरमिन द ट्रैजेक्टरी ऑफ स्मॉल सेवर्स नेस्ट एक्सरसाइजेस can be gauged by few recent occasions when rates were changed or rolled back ab dekhiye yahan par kuch kuch example diya gaya hai ki that political considerations ki jo political consideration hai wo abhi bhi jo small savers hain unki jo savings hai jo bahut choti moti savings hai that is also determined by political consideration ki political matlab wahi log determine karte hain unke savings ko and this can be measured by few recent occasions ki kuch aise occasion jahan pe rates ko change kiye gaye the ya unhe roll back kiya gaya tha reverse kiya gaya tha to they are have they have that has been mentioned here the last time rates was were hiked was in sorry the last time rates were hiked was in january 2019 just ahead of lok sabha election ab aap dekhiye kis kis jagah pe rate increase kiya jata hai तो लास्ट टाइम जो रेट इंक्रीज किया गया था दैट वाज इन 2019 लोकसभा इलेक्शन के ठीक पहले इन मार्च 2021 द गवर्नमेंट हैड अनाउंस्ड फर्दर कट्स रेंजिंग फ्रॉम 0.4 टू 1.1 परसेंट बट विड्रॉ द डिसीजन ओवरनाइट साइटिंग एन ओवरसाइट अमिट अ पोल कैंपेन फॉर पाकिस्तान ओके मार्च 2021 में भी इन्होंने कुछ ऐसे ही फर्दर कट्स अनाउंस किया गया था किया था बट overnight apne decision ko change kar diya and they are citing that this is an oversight for an opol campaign for five states okay so election ka time ye bhi tha however even as a token gesture to voters in upcoming polls this latest tweak in small saving rates does not make the cut lekin agar hum present situation ki baat kare okay so this latest tweak ye jo thoda sa unhone change kiya in small saving rates does not make the cut तो मेक द कट मीन्स वॉट कि ये कोई भी थोड़ा बिल्कुल भी सब्सटेंशियल नहीं है ओके इट इज नॉट कंसिडरेबल ओके इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू गिल्ड एनी रिजल्ट इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी फ्रूटफुल यू कैन से ओके एज द आर बी आई टॉप ब्रास वॉन्ट अर्लियर की जैसे आरबीआई के जो टॉप ऑफिशियल थे उन्होंने पहले वॉन किया था नेगेटिव रिटर्न हैव सीरियस कॉन्सिक्वेंसेज फॉर द इकोनॉमी इफ हाउस होल्ड विच आर बिगेस्ट लेंडर्स पार्किंग देर सेविंग्स इन सच विद इनकम इंस्ट्रूमेंट एंड बैंक ओके no rbi officials top of officials they have already warned ki jab hum negative return kisi bhi person ko dete hain uske savings pe agar aap use koi return hi nahi de rahe negative return de rahe hain to it is very very dangerous for economy because agar ye person jo middle class person hai agar wo apni saving ko bank mein ya is sari jagah pe invest karna hi chhod denge so it is going to be a uh, serious consequences on the economy ye puri economy ke liye bahut serious consequences hoga okay the next quarter should see a fairer and healthier reset of returns to negate inflation's dent on household saving now it is suggestion ki jo next quarter hoga wahan par government ko thoda sa zyada rate of interest badhana chahiye 
so that should be healthier re uh, reset of returns so that uh, whatever inflation whatever the uh, uh, this middle class family or the household they have to face because of they have to suffer because of inflation that can be negated ki us inflation ko uh, impact ko negate kiya ja sake because of this high return on their savings so this is what uh, this entire article is about basically ye pura jo rate of interest hai jo bahut hi minimal hai uske basis mein pura discussion hai ki wo itna minimal hai ki it is not going to affect uh, anyone ki kisi ko koi result dikhega nahi usme so i hope this entire article is clear to you Huh, that we will discuss later. Now tell me what is wrong here, guys. What is incorrect here? Quickly. Apostrophe is not required, right? So, as per you people, apostrophe is not required. Apostrophe is wrong. You mean to say it should be like this, correct? Alok is saying it is in C. So, if you are saying that it should be like this, so there should be relation between schemes and rates. Rates is noun. Rates is noun. Then. Yes, yes. See here, uh, apostrophe is required because scheme is noun, rate is noun to show relation between scheme k rates. Scheme k rates ki baat ho rahi hai. To show the relation between these two noun, we need apostrophe. But apostrophe will be used after s, guys. S ke pehle nahi use hoga, s ke baad use hoga because these is plural. We are not talking about any particular scheme. Kisi ek scheme ki baat nahi ho rahi. It is talking about many schemes. Okay. तो बहुत सारे स्कीम्स की बात हो रही है तो एपोस्ट्रॉफी विल बी यूज बट इट विल बी यूज आफ्टर इस सो दिस इज आल्सो रॉन्ग दिस इज आल्सो रॉन्ग द करेक्ट फॉर्म विल बी दिस स्कीम्स रेट व्हाट इट यस आफ्टर इस एपोस्ट्रॉफी आई होप नो कंफ्यूजन आई होप नो कंफ्यूजन एट ऑल ओके तो जहां पर भी प्लूरल का सेंस आएगा आपका एपोस्ट्रॉफी ऑलवेज बी यूज आफ्टर इस नॉट बिफोर इस इसके बाद एपोस्ट्रॉफी यूज होता है नो व्हाट इज द टोन ऑफ टुडेज आर्टिकल Dent on basically we call to uh, that uh, suffering you can say basically that they had to suffer. जो गाड़ी में dent नहीं पड़ जाता आपके तो गाड़ी suffer करती है. So that is basically dent on. Uh, you can say disadvantage, uh, cons. The range of the range between. I will come to that part. Ah, uh, that is okay. Schemes after this we will use. In the end, at the end, both can be used. Neeraj, both can be used. Now see, if I talk about tone, so basically it is analytical, and uh, suggestion would just last line was suggestion. Otherwise, it is concern. Basically, it is concern and analytical. Okay. Suggestion last line was just suggestion. So just simple the last line was suggestion. Okay. And this is your homework. Yes, critical also. Yes, we have critical also. Correct, because ये जो government की scheme थी that has been criticised also. So somewhere it was concern also कि ये जो देखे ये जो last line आपका I will tell you from here it is what it is concern कि RBI top or brass official and all these things. But starting से it is informative in between it was critical also ये जितनी भी चीजें दी गई हैं that is critical. कि दैट अवर सेविंग इज मार्क्ड बाय ऑल दीज ओकेजन की जहां पर पॉलिटिकल को उस पर बेस होना होता है ठीक है तो आपको पता है कि एनालिटिकल का मतलब सारी चीजें यहां पर पॉजिटिव नहीं बेसिकली यू कैन से यस इट इज क्रिटिकल ओके कंसर्न जस्ट लास्ट लाइन वॉज कंसर्न यस क्रिटिसाइजिंग इलेक्शन नॉट ऑल दिस थिंग्स करेक्ट सो ऑल दिस थिंग्स आर देयर सो एज आई ऑलवेज से इन सिंगल पैराग्राफ यू कैन हैव टू थ्री टोन आप देख हैं कि आपके मॉर्निंग में जो भी चीजें दी गई हैं, जो भी ऑप्शंस में है यू कैन मार्क योर आंसर्स अकॉर्डिंगली आप उसके अकॉर्डिंग आप अपने आंसर्स मार्क कर सकते हैं टोन के केसेस में ओके
Now tell me where do you have? This is your homework. Please uh, try to use them. Okay. You all should be back. कि वापस से अपने उसी फॉर्म पे आ जाइए जहां पर आप लोग होमवर्क वगैरह करते हैं नॉट टेल मी वेयर डिड यू हैड डाउट सी इफ यू आर टेकिंग एनालिटिकल सो इट इज बिकॉज एनालिटिकल मीन्स यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट बोथ पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव इन्फॉर्मेशन ओके प्रॉस एंड कॉन्स बोथ एवरीथिंग यू हैव डिस्कस्ड सो इफ इन ऑप्शन यू आर नॉट गेटिंग एनालिटिकल सो यू विल गेट दैट इन्फॉर्मेटिव this you are talking about the range of the range between 5 and 4 see it is something that is depend up, that depends upon sense after a sharp cut in the range 0.5 and 1.4% we are not talking about the between ki iske beech ki kuch baat ho rahi hai so uh, between is not required okay that depends upon the context so it is making sense so it is the range of 0.5 and 1.4 per percentage uh, point across schemes introduced in the uh april 2020 so it is talking about the range of this thing so we are talking about two range so it may be possible okay so you cannot call it incorrect because it is making sense range between will carry some different sense because wahan pe sense aa jayega ki in dono ke beech ka range ki baat ho rahi hai and range of means we are talking about the range of this 0.5 and 1.4% okay so it is correct anish uh, if you are a super elite user i will recommend you to watch grammar batches और अगर आप सुपर इलिट यूजर नहीं भी हैं तो वाईटी पर भी कुछ कुछ फ्री सेशंस हैं हमारे जैसे वर्ब एडवांस के आप देख सकते हैं सर्च इट वर्ब एडवांस बाय सबा मैम तो यू विल गेट दैट सो वॉच दो आर्टिकल्स ओके वी विल मीट एट नाइन एम गाइस प्लीज ज्वाइन नाइन एम सेशन आल्सो बिकॉज नाउ टूडे वी हैव द सेशन ऑफ एस बी क्लर्क ओके सो प्लीज ज्वाइन दिस नाइन एम सेशन सो गेन दैट टारगेट विल बी थर्टी आउट ऑफ थर्टी लाइक आईबीपीएस क्लर्क फॉर इंग्लिश सो डू ज्वाइन दिस सेशन ओके So thank you guys I'm ending this session now